Yo, what's up, guys? This is How to the Rape Dragon. I am here today to bring you guys my live reaction for the um, Lord L. Malloy in case it's case files. Um, Rail Zeppelin and Grace Note trailer too. Yeah, I had to actually uh, read all of that out. <laughs> so yeah, this is the um, trailer, the second trailer to the L. Malloy series, which is a Fate series that I've actually been waiting for was a tight moon series that's within the that's within the realm of the um fate state night series and the i guess you could say the sugi may series as well so yeah i'm looking forward to this but let's go ahead and jump into this one so here we go aniplex, aniplex of america <laughs> <laughs> that he did waiver. It's been sin it's been ten years. The new kid. A girl who has the... Actually, I don't even think I should spoil that. <laughs> Waver getting older. Oh, it's that girl who becomes a servant later on. She just became a servant recently, actually. Welcome to the clock terror. Yes, I am so hyped for this. <laughs> this looks like it's gonna actually be a good series. I actually never read the series, unfortunately, but I'm definitely looking forward to what they do for the anime, and then I'm gonna actually check and see what they actually have that's different and what they cut because now we have to actually go in and check and see what the hell they cut. Although, to tell you the truth, Stuff like Aniplex try not to cut a whole lot of content, but they end up um, cutting like a few things. So it'll be pretty interesting to see what is cut and what was actually kept. Oh, I just hope this actually does good because I am. I love the fact that we are still getting all this fake content and stuff like that. We still have. Let me see. What, what did we have like recently? We had Fate Apocrypha, which was a whole 24 episode thing. We had um, Fate Extra Less Encore, which I actually never finished, so that's something that I have to, so that's something I do have to finish pretty soon. And then we have this one, which is the El Malloy um, In Case File series. Uh, I wonder how long. If I hope they're adapting the entire thing, so even if it's like, even though we can, they can probably do it in like one season. I wouldn't mind if they actually try to, they try to go for like two seasons with this and stuff like that. So that they can, at the very least, draw stuff out and make stuff present it, like present all this, um, all these th things well. So let's actually read the premise of it before we actually end it. It says, The mystery begins July 2019. Wow, this was probably right after the events of Fate Great Order. With the premiere of El Malloy the Second, Case Files, Rail Zeppelin, Grace Note. It says, don't miss the very best of magical mysteries created by Type Moon with music by Yuki Kajira and animated and animation production by um, Troika. Yeah, Troika. Troika's actually a pretty good um, studio. They've actually done some pretty good animation. Like uh, some pretty good series. It says about El Malloy's second case files. Waver Velvet. The boy who fought side by side with the King of Conquerors, Iskengar, or Alexander the Great. During the Fourth Holy Grail War and Fate Zero. Time has passed and the mature Waver has now adopted the name of El Malloy II. As El Malloy II, he takes on numerous magical mystery cases in the clock tower, the Magus Machia? Mech? Micah? Uh, 
uh, I don't even know what the hell that means. But yeah, so this is about Waver, what he's been doing right after the Fate Zero event, which we actually seen him in the clock tower at the end of Fate Unlimited Blade Works, and we see him just like wandering the um, clock tower and stuff. He was already the El Malloy, as you guys can see. He was like he was like his order himself, and he was asking Shiro about his involvement in the Holy Grail War and what it was that Shiro what it was that Shiro was going to do after the whole after everything now that he's already experienced it so Waver was like okay so you've been in a situation that's similar to me so what are you gonna do for you now now what are you gonna do for yourself and Shiro is like of course Shiro's like to become a hero just as in Waver is like that so, that does sound ridiculous, but interesting. So yeah, looking definitely looking forward to this one. This looks like it's gonna be a good series. I'm, I I enjoy the I enjoy mysteries and I enjoy the fact that it's a mystery surrounding like magic because of the clock tower being the major association. So of course, mystery surrounding magical um magical properties is always like an interesting concept that I'm actually always interested in but yeah that's all I wanted to say about this this looks like it's gonna be fun I can't wait for the next trailer so this has been Hunter the Rage Dragon make sure you guys rate the video well make sure you guys um, subscribe and click that notification bell so that you guys can be notified when I upload again and I hope to see all of you guys next time please peace